1997, the year Rice freshmen learned to walk. Prius was leading the charge in fuel efficiency, and mobile phones were flipping open. Today, diapers have been changed for textbooks. The Prius has been outraced by the Tesla, and mobile phones have outsmarted their users. Fortunately, we retain one glorious artifact from this bygone era, Wi-Fi, and the wonderful way that it works. Except it doesn't. Anybody who has waited for Netflix to buffer will agree with me. Wi-Fi doesn't work. What's worse is we've been conditioned to accept this delay as normal. We need a wireless network that provides services when we need them. When you're sick, you don't randomly just take medication, but this is what Wi-Fi does. It randomly waits to transmit your information. This leads to buffering, delay, and unreliability. To cure Wi-Fi, we should learn about the, the services that are being requested and schedule our network to provide these services. In the past, scheduling has focused on rate maximization and fairness. But these criteria do not meet the needs of the modern user. I have created a solution, a service-centric framework for scheduling, under which I have found optimal algorithms to maximize the service provisioning capability of all our networks. My work will enable a future in which we can all watch Netflix without buffering, and wireless networks not impose conditions upon us. Instead, we will get the services we need without delay and when we demand them.